Cool man, we are rolling. It's 2024. We and are, we are back again. Back at it, you know. Consistency <laughs> is always the key. Yeah, no. So, Seven again. Rab again, Ajo. Rab again. You know what I mean? I get it, man. What are we going to do? First things first, uh, I want you to start off. Um, look, I mean, the first episode we did of this show, the Ribuaga, the top five it's about to, and why are we still having this debate? And as fate would have it... Uh, At least drops. <laughs> <laughs> Tilly has, a, has his own top 50 of South African artists. Um... Definitely uh, debatable, uh, yeah, to say the least. Definitely. <laughs> but what I like about his post is that, you know, he says in the caption that, listen, nobody is um, kind of like um, the authority on who's supposed to be in whose list. 100%. Everybody's list is equally fallible and... Um, yeah, you just said it's my opinion, and you can't tell me shit about my own opinion. So. Yeah. So I guess he, he protected himself very well by yeah. doing that because as soon as I saw it, I was like, and then no, what's that line? You know what I mean? But um, shout out to him for doing that because, hey, man, it's not. Uh, it invites a lot it of a lot, right? venom. <laughs> it invites venom, Joe. I was ready to pounce, like, yeah, yeah. What are you talking about? You I know, mean, how, let me get your take. What do you feel about the list? Um, I was going to give the list, um, you know, say, look, that's your opinion. And, you know, I wasn't going to pay it no mind mm -hmm. until I saw Flair by Buff Stogie T. <laughs> when I saw that. Dog, I saw, I saw Tuto Soul above Tuxingana. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I think for me, we listen to music different, clearly. Yeah. Um, he's, his, his requirements, remember how we discussed about what are the requirements, how do you rate um, the quality of an MC or a rapper? Yeah. Clearly his and ours are... Uh, are two separate night things, and right? Day, night yeah. and day, But I mean, he he also didn't kind of stipulate what the criteria is yeah, you know what i mean didn't, didn't do that. um if you look at the list based off of accolades it's still questionable um if you look at it based on cultural impact it's still questionable if you look at it on bars it's very questionable yeah but it's probably just the odyssey likes so let's put it like this let's say he's um just if they say, uh, let me give you an example. If they say you're going to be stuck on an island with nothing but a CD player, which artist CDs do you want to have with you? <laughs> and that's his 50 artists in order there. <laughs> that's the only thing. That's, oh, that's the artist he listens to. I the guess. most or the ones he likes the most in order. It's not about anything objective or it's just his opinion, Brian. You can't you can't really fight it, but uh some of those opinions are I'd, wild. I'd, I'd like to know though, like from him and and with, uh, I'm throwing no shade at this list, right? Mm. It's 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 a decent list, it's okay. Um but I want to know, I want to understand based off what? Yes, it's artists you like, but what do you like? About them, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, he doesn't have to justify, bro. He doesn't owe anybody anything. Um, not it's true. just um, it's just putting it out there, and I suppose it achieved the purpose because people are talking about it. We're talking about it now, so yeah. Shout out to him, but um, uh, I don't know, bro. You can't have the ox in my car, bro. At all. Nah. At all. <laughs> <laughs> At all, my nigga. No, 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 no. We can't look. Maybe, maybe we should do this, right? We should maybe uh, come up with our own top fifty. Top fifty South African. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and not, not right now. We'll, we'll post it on mm. on Comedicast page, mm. right, and see how people feel about our list. Because 
who knows maybe we we'll, we we'll, we'll come up with a rubbish list ourselves yeah um, man but we must stipulate what's it based off of yeah exactly you know what i mean because yeah. it's one thing to to talk about tilly's list and all these other lists but we don't have anything of our own to say this is what we think right mm. so we might just sound like haters that's the last thing we want um so let's put together our own list you me and mix let's come up with a list let's put it out and see how people feel about it Sure, I mean, um what would the criteria be though? What do you think the criteria should be of the list? Look, I think first things first parts, mm, right? Okay. Um and I think cultural impact would also be number 2. Number 2, okay. Right? I wouldn't want to put um uh, monetary success, fame and all of that shit in it. I would into put it. um catalog uh yeah probably cuz bars is a, is very subjective yes. you know what i mean bars is like one person might think that's a dope bar others might not so i'd say the catalog itself itself you know cuz there there's less room for subjectivity I, most people I can agree you. that this person has a strong catalog whether or not away so i'd put i put and the, the ability to make songs that's what right? i mean by yeah. catalog like yeah. the, quality the quality of, of your the music, music. Yeah. you know what i mean so i'd put catalog um okay let's say yeah bars is okay but because bars, 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 bars got to be there cuz we there, are who I, we are yeah. right <laughs> i don't think it will be at the top of the list yeah. but yes yeah so maybe catalog cultural impact bars okay yeah fair enough that's fair right yeah let's do it That's fair. Let's That's do fair. it. Yeah, no, yeah. Let's do it. It's going to be come interesting. Out. It'll come out. It'll come out soon after this episode. And then uh, maybe next time we can go through the comments and see what people and see think what people of our think, list yeah. and um, yeah, take it from there. I like that. I'm with that. Yeah. Mm. Well, you hear it here. Uh, top 50 uh, comedy casts. South African MCs. 2024. 2024. Siaba Ngena. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people on Tilly's list who are not going to be there. Yeah, that's definitely. a definite. That's a definite. <laughs> 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 yeah. You know what I mean? But okay, challenge accepted. We'll do it. Um, and we'll get what you guys think about it. And we'll have a follow-up conversation about and see that, what's yeah. good, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, next thing is... Answer the work I catalog, so you're right. Is um, I came across, well, you, I think you shared the video where this lady's talking about how over the years, with the introduction of, you know, the ease of access to music and how easily artists can post music on, on the mm -hmm. internet, there is no longer that development thing of like legacy artists um, by labels, more especially, mm -hmm. right? So, I'm wondering, do we have legacy artists still? South Africa and internationally, right? And by that, I mean somebody who's got that longevity and that quality of artistry with their catalog, with their mm. overall ability as a songwriter, performer, all of that, that lasts um, over a long period of time, man. Look, I mean, there are lots of artists like that, I think, but I don't know if the label um, were brought, developed through label system. I don't know a lot of artists that have been developed through the label system that have stood the test of time. I think mm -hmm. primarily because labels are almost by nature trying to catch a wave. 100%. You know, but, so, and that's the nature of the problem. That's the nature of the problem, but it's the nature of the beast because in order for them to get their return on their investment, the artist needs to blow. In order for the artist to blow, the artist needs to tr be on trend, mm. right? But if you're going to be a um, kind of a, a long-standing artist that's going to stay the test of time, then you're not going to base your music on what's trending or what's hot right now. You're just going to do you, and that will automatically be hot. I mean, you'll obviously have... Um, projects or albums that are less trendy than others but for the most part people you'll create a fan base that's loyal to you regardless but when you're chasing trends 
trends come and go, bro. Trends come and go. They uh, do, and uh, but I think that's that's what's the problem with SA music overall, right? Mm-hmm. Is there's very few genres that can create those kind of artists. Hip hop or rap nowadays, bro. Nah, bro. No. Rap A.K.A. Like, was that artist. Yeah, but who, who since then? A.K.A. in 2012, dog. When did we get introduced to, to, no, to AK? Yeah, it was 2012. 2012. But that's, that's not right? how many, what years is it? Yeah, 20, 20, he passed in, away 2023. Yeah, but now in, in his in his group of peers, Kibo Mang, who've, 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 who've stayed the, that, that period, and who's come after that stayed and is looking to stay for a longer period. Another person who stayed is Kulichana. He has reinvented himself. 100%. Um, he stayed a long time. Questa is one of those. Questa, Questa yeah. is one of those. I mean, there's plenty, bro. Um, there's um, plenty is not enough, bro. Uh, look, I think Nasty C will be one of those artists for sure. Hundred percent. Um, Jabba was one of those artists. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, fine. If we're gonna go back to our heyday, there's lots because there's lots from when, but they didn't stay the test of time. They did, but what I'm saying is, after the, the names were mentioning, mm. right? These guys came in the game years ago, mm. right? Oh, you mean now? Now, who's who's there now that you can say, homie's gonna be around for a long time? Maybe Blackie, but is he hip hop though? He's, I think he's he's he's, he's versatile yeah. enough he's to versatile to switch, to right? Switch and do hundred percent. So Blackie, Blackie might be one of those. Um, the thing is also, you know, when you think about this, mm. you got to think these people are growing with their audience, mm. right? So your, your subject matter changes, your style changes, mm. your musicality mm. changes mm. to accommodate mm. your growing fan base, mm. um, the diverseness of it. Like your diverseness, diversity. Diversity. First week of You know what I mean? Um, mm. But yeah, it's it's interesting to say. Like I, I don't see a lot of those artists that. I think part of the reason is that you don't listen to the new guys because mm-hmm. there's a lot of new guys that we just don't listen to that maybe have gonna are gonna stand a long time. I mean, A. Reese, his fan base is wild. It's crazy, bro. They will yeah, stick they, with him through thick, thick and, and thin, thin, my man. Yeah. That guy can drop an Andre three three thousand plut. Uh, like, oh, a flute. Flute. <laughs> I can tell you my little sister. It's only my Flute album, and they will freaking love it, man. So there's lots of um, artists who have a very loyal fan base. Um, and it's very hard to find artists that are not going to try and catch the piano wave as well, because you see yeah. a lot of hip hop guys are also doing that. So I don't know. I think it's, it is what it is, man. Um, we'll only know uh, when the time comes. Um, but what's more concerning is that labels don't want to spend on talent, undiscovered talent. Hundred percent. That's the bigger it's, concern. It's you gotta be popping off. You gotta already. be, you gotta be uh, popping off already a viral to get, kind of situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, for you to to get acknowledged by a label, nobody finds an artist anymore and be like, "Oh, and say, Yeah. There's something yana here that could be developed. I right? think maybe Tyler was one of those. But she's not hip hop. Um, but is Tyler? Tyler is now with Major. But yeah, Tyler's was, been she doing. She, did she come in and yeah, through I a think, Major? Uh, well, when I discovered her early last year, she was with the Major. Nah, she was already with the Major then. But yeah. I think Tyler's been around. Like we like Tyler maybe two, three years ago. Oh, is that she been around? Yeah, that long? she's she's been around, bro. Oh, na zama zama da. And her music's always been dope. Mm. But obviously, the the natural progression is you, you catch a bit of hype. You got a, mm. a decent kind of project to to start marketing yourself mm. to labels, right? Mm. And then you can now then start can tapping catch. into to uh, new markets. I mean, who's that um, girl, man? That dropped a crazy good. R&B album and then went overseas. Elaine. Elaine. We're what talking about, I was talking about Elaine the other day yeah. with some homies, right? And my thing is, it's not that her music sucks right now since she went to the States or whatever. Has she dropped whatever. like an album? She's dropped something, but I was not Not an impressed. album, like singles, right? She dropped singles. I think she dropped the project. Did bro. she drop a project? I think so. Really? I can't recall, but I think she dropped the project. And my thing was like, yo, it's not slapping the same way, right? So one or two things happened. You left your 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 team behind. Mm. You got a new team. Go stay there. What come out? South Africans now. Mm. Um, 
because we were vibing with this stuff, we bruh. Vibing with Everybody it hard, was on bro. it. You that know what I'm saying? Was, and then Jiggy Jiggy now Arsa Obona. I mean, when last did you hear or Eleni wa perform? Mm, mm. I think that's um that's a conversation about what being signed to a major does, right? Yeah. You no longer have that creative control over your music, number one. Because you sign, they decide what put, what you put out. They decide who you work with. They just, so maybe that's what happened. You never know because we don't know the ins and outs of what happened. But it's um, it shows that once you have something good, you, you gotta protect keep it, it, dog. You gotta protect, you gotta protect it because protect your winning as, formula, dog. Because I mean, sometimes it seems if you listen to Elaine's first project, it seemed very. Like she 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 developed the formula. Like it it was very reminiscent of her, her mm. that kind of mm. you know, and I think when she went to the to the majors, they tried to replicate what artists within her spectrum were, were doing. doing. Yes, and yes. it's like nah, this doesn't feel authentic mm. anymore. It's mm. like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, man. Um, it's wild. Is there any other artist like that who? I mean, I worry about Tyler. Speaking of her. She's got this. I think Tyler's gonna be fine. This big, big, big song, bro. I think she's gonna be the fine. The song is bro. too big. I think the song is she's too. She's gonna be fine. Big. I feel like her song is too big, but there's too much pressure. What's your second song after that? I don't what think is it'll your be as second big. Single after that. Bro? I don't think it'd be as big, but she's definitely gonna catch another hit. Yeah, look, she's got the momentum. She's but, definitely going to catch um, another hit. She must, she, must, she must come to some I mean, I mean uh, the, the, all she needs to focus on is, is making sure that it slaps. And, and right now, I mean, she did, she did Colors mm. um, end of last year, mm. right? And she did a song on there, I dig it. I was, it wasn't Water. No Water. Oh. She did another song, um, On and On or something like mm. that. Um, I plugged it in one of my social media videos. Mm. Um, and... It's banging, bro. I'm no. like, and then I like piano, I like r and It's like, yeah. it's dope. And I'm like, clearly she's got a, a good team of writers. Mm. She's got good production on there. Um, she understands herself as an artist from just watching her mm. interviews and stuff. The way she right? carries herself is super, it's super awesome. Dope. And it's, you know what it's mean? authentic. It's you don't feel like now that she's there, she's a different person. It's like the same you know what person I mean? that she was when 100%. she was. 100%. I mean, it took me some adjusting. When I started hearing Tyler talk, I was like, yo, you're so... Colored, 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 me, bro. I was like, you know what I mean? So I was like, okay, this is dope, but it's a lot to take in. But that's what I love about her, mm. you know? And I think she's got, how she's got she? bangers how in her. How does she do now? Uh, I'm not sure. I'd be guessing and saying, like, Boma, 24, mm. around that. Yeah, I just hope she that can... You know, right, getting too much too quickly... I think can also be very uh, risky if you don't have the right people around you to advise you. Yeah. Um, but then, then there's this rumor that's been going around. I don't know how true it is or I don't know who this guy is anyway. I haven't really looked into it. That her manager or, or, or one oh, of the guys on the our MG team. podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they you said know. something like uh, her phot- phot- videographer or something. Videographer like or something, yeah. Um, I don't know, bro. Those are just rumors. I'd rather not add fuel to that fire. To that fire, don't no. know the facts there. But she's not doing true. well. But she's doing well. She's flying the South African flag high. Uh, I gotta say, I'm fucking sick of that song, though. <laughs> I could do. I think it, bro. I was um, playing it just the so other day, sick bro. And tired. bro. I heard that song before I heard that song. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, I switch off. I'm like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was everywhere. And I guess that's what TikTok does, yeah. um, and social media. But then I got to listen to it and I enjoyed it, but I didn't get to enjoy it for very long because I'd already heard, heard it, it so, so many much. times. Right? Imagine you had discovered that song on your own, how much you would have enjoyed it. Enjoyed 100%. it, you know what I mean? You know what's that for me right now? It's mm-hmm. this, um, the French dude that okay. did the colors thing. <laughs> Yeah, that guy, that guy. Okay. So I found that guy early last year, bro. Mm. Early, early. And he did that song on on his Instagram, fella, Munkum, mm. chilling. And he, I was like, what is this? This dude is dope. And I dug him because of the gap. I was like, mm. my guy, you know? <laughs> we, are, we are homies. We are family. And I I remember I posted on my on my stories. I was like, yo, this, this guy and this song... It's gonna catch fire mm. before this year ends. I'm telling mm. you, and that's what he did on colors and Bonano. Yeah, no. you know, 
it just shows that uh, at the end of the day, it's the music that makes all the difference, bro. Yeah. You make good music. And that's it. Um, get it out there as much as you can, but that's ultimately the, the music speaks for itself. I mean, another another thing I saw was another homie was talking about how artists still drop music on Fridays. Up and coming artists mm. and you know what I mean? And the reason behind that initially dropping on Fridays is to catch Billboard charts, right? So the issue, and and we've the had this. Isn't the playlist as well? Don't not, they update not, on Fridays? Not necessarily playlist because when when you release music, you have to pitch mm. to these playlists anyway. So you have to give yourself, yeah. um, regardless a, of the day you drop uh, it, the, the day you mm. drop, you got to give yourself time to pitch to these mm. playlists. Ideally, a month or more is mm. is is a great you know kind of time period, but. With up and coming artists, it's not ideal for you to drop on a Friday because mm. and nobody's checking for you. Mm. Sanji wa dropa today, uh, Drake wa dropa today. I'm not checking for you, my friend. Mm. Unless I'm already a fan, but you're not gonna get any um, new listenership unless you're making that playlist. Mm. Um, so I think artists need to really rethink. You know, dropping on other days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I didn't even um, I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I've known I've known that people drop on Fridays. Um, I have never known why. Um, it doesn't make a difference to me when I listen to everybody. People listen to music every day. Every day, right? Yeah. So, so when when you when you come across something, you you don't look at what day is what it day. Today? In fact, it's even more detrimental now to post on a Monday saying, "Yo, I'm dropping." On Friday, pre-save, pre-save. Mm. Like, if you don't have... Like, what's the point, right? Bruh, speaking of pre-save, bruh, do you ever pre-save? I, sometimes, I but... I never pre-save But anything. it never really works out for me because it doesn't show up on my... Because my go-to is, like, my liked songs. Yes. I start there. Unless I'm looking for something specific, mm. I go into, like, mm. my, my homepage and I start looking at what... Mm. Half the time, I don't, I don't listen to what... Um, Spotify tells me oh, unless I'm a fan now nah, unless I'm a fan but they will push artists that you are a fan of that's how I'd the, rather uh, listen that's how the uh, Spotify algorithm works. no I'd rather listen to my weekly playlist that it creates for me oh because it, it's it's now gonna okay, I know okay. it's gonna push a Maybe. certain type of sound mm. and there's gonna be new artists in there that I dig mm. um, and there's still gonna be stuff that I I'm, I've already familiarized myself with right so mm. I'd rather do that my daily mixes i go into those more often than i'd go into like a random what's new and stuff yeah but that, that shows that everybody listens differently for me i listen to my own music and then when i see an artist has released like uh spotify will tell you that this guy has released a new song sure that's when i listen to it you go check it out yeah but and now they've got a, they've got the the story thing like the reels what? on spotify what is what do they do? So it's real. It's like you can scroll up and oh, like and Instagram. Yes, but, but it's, it's, music. it's music. Oh shit! It's so dope, bro. You just scroll. If you like the song, hit like. It'll fall into your like songs. Like songs. If you can, you can follow the artist. Oh um, nice! So you don't particularly add that song anywhere, but mm. it, at least the, the algorithm is like Oh, or You know what I mean? Mm. So I think that's pretty dope. It's a new way of like, kind of checking out music. What about um, on Spotify? Uh, last month, or was it November, they announced that they're making changes to the way they pay artists. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't getting paid. That if you don't have a thousand streams on your song, you're not getting anything. 100%. Um, other streaming services, I don't know if they're going to follow suit. Maybe they're checking to see the backlash from Spotify. What... Um, what does it mean for you, man? Because I think like it's if you're an up and coming artist, you drop, you think you're building a catalog, you get that, you get to like hundred songs, maybe two have more than a thousand, the others are five hundred, six hundred, eight. Bra, you're only getting paid from two songs. Hundred percent. That is. So I think I think the trick moving forward now for artists should be like this, right? It's the kind of creating viral moments for yourself, mm. right? So the idea of dropping an album, you need to curate that timeline mm. very well. So we're living in an age of singles because also the I think attention we span. the attention mm. span thing. We've spoken about this a lot. Um, 
but now the social media is working that way. Like you gotta pick your battles, find that song, create videos for the same for the same verse. Create mm. ten different um, IG reels mm. for that. Get it moving. Let as many people see it. Get. Um, put some ad spin on there, mm. you know what I mean? Get that song moving so that people can go and visit that song and listen to it. Once it, it jumps that thousand streams mark, mm. then move on to the next. Like, mm. set yourself some targets in terms of, okay, I want this many streams for this song. Once You can see when a song is starting to pick up and then now it's got its own legs, mm. then you can move on to the next. But what artists are doing, I feel like, they bombarding us with a lot of music mm. way too often, but you're not creating any kind of fan base for yourself. Like all we see is a more wide drop, our drop, our drop, but are we really listening to that music? Right? Too much music from an unknown artist is like, hey man, you get a pili. We're still trying to figure out if we like this one. Yeah, We've but got- I mean, at the same time, as an unknown artist, the goal should be to build your catalog because by the time you pop off, you want to be able, or when you, the idea is that when you get a fan, they should be able to go and check out your other music. You don't want to get a fan and you've got three tracks. No, I get you that. Know what I mean? But this is something that I've, I'm seeing happening, mm. especially in, in, on the TikTok space, right? Mm. Artists will drop a song or drop a video of how they made the song, mm. right? And then they'll drop a video, a lyric video. Mm. Then they'll drop this and that. But the whole time they're telling you, go listen to the full song. Go listen mm. to the full song. Mm. Do that, doing that for like a month or two, the song is up. Most of these cats will start off with one song available on Spotify. Mm. And that song hits 40,000 streams, mm. right? And then he moves on and gives you a second song. Now, I've already built up about 20,000 listeners. Now I can release music a little bit more, more often. because you've got, I've got people that are actually going to listen to. Yeah. As opposed to dropping a song a week, but there's only 10 people listening. Yeah. You're never going to get to to that threshold yeah, you're trying it, to get It to. makes sense to put more effort into marketing now. Just Exactly. And, and, and engagement. Engagement. With your song. Yeah. Exactly. So, if there's more conversation around the content you're creating, um, more conversation around the song, tell the story of how you made the song. Tell mm. the story of why you made the song, who's on the song, eh, how did this happen? Show, you know what I mean? Get a conversation going. You mm. create interest in who you are as an artist as opposed to the song. Mm. You mm. know what I mean? And then once you get to that point where, okay, people are listening, let me let me give them something okay, new. Some Pasta mm. You know, Then now you can start more frequently releasing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's dope. That's you dope. Know. That's uh, putting niggas on the game. You're going to fail, dog. Yeah. I guess that's the purpose of what we're trying to do exactly. here. Exactly. Same same thing we're trying you to know. do, man. How about you? Yeah, just pushing <laughs> our push, you know what I'm saying? You know, but yeah, guys, let us know what you think, man. Drop something in the comments. Um, yeah, at least the Rona, and we'll get to talking about that. And see what's up. Oh, yeah. Thanks for sitting in. Thank you. Peace.